All right, folks, today we're going to be making a video about applying this bed liner armor. It's made by Dupli Color, and here's what it looks like a little actual product sample piece. It's pretty nice, it's got a little roughness to it. Looks pretty good, I don't know, we'll see. Kind of looks chunky a little bit, but it supposedly has some kind of Kevlar in it, which is supposed to make it really strong. Hmm. It is made by DuPont, so that's a good thing. DuPont's a pretty good company. I'm a little worried about that it might look too rough according to their pictures even, so I don't know. We'll see. Looks pretty good, so anyways, this kit comes with, there we go, comes with one gallon of the, of the paint or liner, liquid liner, roller, a tray, a stir stick, and a brush, and a scuff pad, and instructions. So let's see, we're going to be uh, doing a six foot uh, side flare or side step, whatever kind of F-150 here. So it's not a huge, it's a little smaller I guess than usual bed, but this should be enough I hope. Alright, so we're opening this up. And let's see, what do we got here? Uh, I guess this is all the goodies you get here. Nice, nice. Well, why is this white? It's supposed to be black. According to the pictures, it's black. But it's white. Hmm, this roller is kind of interesting, actually. Hmm, it's like this carpet looking roller. Carpety looking. Interesting. So yeah, I guess you get your roller here, a handle, scuff pad, and a brush, two inch brush. So then we got, so here we go, star stick, and the one gallon of bed armor by Dupli Color, made with DuPont Kevlar. So I don't know, it looks pretty promising. Okay, I opened the instructions. They got this really colorful pictures, step by step kind of thing. One, two, I guess, wash it real good. Three, it's clean. Four, tape it up. I guess the edges are where you're gonna apply. Five, scuff it. Six, I guess, blow it out. The scuff, I guess, residue. Seven, prep it. Eight, mix it. Nine, roll it. Ten, apply it. Eleven, apply it some more. Twelve, peel it. Thirteen, that's thirteen. Wash the roller. Fourteen, look at it. Fifteen, done. Dried. Interesting. I don't know. According to these pictures, I kind of don't like the finish of this thing. It looks too rough. I guess we'll see. All right, guys. So. Scuffed up the all the sides, as you can kind of tell, I guess, with the pad they gave me. It actually worked pretty good, so it's not too bad. All right, me and Marky are scrubbing down the the bottom of the bay. Yeah. Can't really tell, but that's how we're doing it, right, Mark? Yeah. I keep scrubbing the stuff. The key is to get all the shine out, or as much as you can, technically. All of it would be the best, but the good thing is the bottom of this bed is really scrunched up, so it should have a pretty good adhesive already. All right, so everything is scuffed down now and looking good, sort of. Okay, so I opened this can and the bottom was very dry and the top was very liquidy, as you can see. So this thing's going to need a really good mix really good mix so all I have is a stick so I don't know if that's gonna work maybe I should I do have a cordless drill and put something on there mix it up or something but anyways make sure you get your stuff really mixed up good so it made me own mixer tool this is how it works you spin this and it mix oh boy it's splattering over anyways you get the point Got the
seems to work pretty good. Hooray! Let's keep on mixing. All right, guys. So I got the first layer on all the sides here. This is already starting to dry up. This is where I first started. And this is more wet here. Just finished. First layer on the sides. Looks pretty good so far. There's definitely, definitely this crummy look. I don't know. It looks a little bit rough up close. Let's see over here where it's dried more. I can see. It doesn't look terrible. But it's definitely not, you know, aesthetically very nice looking. It's kind of rough, but from my distance, it actually looks pretty decent. So I guess my plan is to do the sides first, two layers. So I'm going to start on my second layer here, finish all these sides from here to here. And then I'm going to start at the bottom and go this way about. I guess I'll go about two, two, three feet at a time and then wait a little bit, let it dry, and then go two, three feet, two, three feet. That way I don't trap myself. So I'll get the sides done first, and then the bottom, and then the tailgate will be last completely separate. So, anyways, that's the process. Alright, guys, so the walls are done with the second layer, and it looks pretty good. It's starting to kind of grow on me, the look. Not so bad at all. So that's what it looks like. Definitely grainy though. So I started actually lining the uh, the floor now. So I got about two, two and a half, two and a half, three feet, about two and a half feet. So I'm gonna wait till it dries a little more. Add a second layer and then keep going. Keep going. Get probably two more times. And then another. And then I'll be at the very back and all this will be done. So I would say I'm starting to like it overall. Let's see, you get a little better shot from farther away. How it looks. It's still drying, so I guess it's not the final product, but not too bad, I would say. Not too bad. Looks pretty good. It definitely takes some time. You gotta just keep working it and working it. Um, oh yeah, another note, I've been mixing, I got this mixing tool, I just got a screwdriver and taped it to that uh, stick that was providing the mixing stick, whatever, and uh, so I just used the, the drill to mix this, so every time I'd pour paint in there, I'd mix it, so I still have about half a gallon, maybe a little more, so but the floor is going to take a lot, I want to make it a little thicker, so since it won't run, it's flat. You can put a thicker layer on the bottom on the floor. Alright guys, I'm finally done with the bed. And that's what it looks like. It's still drying, so you can tell it's still got that shiny color here. But yeah, there it is. Hopefully it will look all even and nice once it's all dry. So now I just got to do the tailgate, which basically is over here, doing it separate. I'm just going to do it right here. Alrighty, it is finished. This is still kind of drying, but this is dry already. Well, not all the way dry, but you can touch it. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with the results. It actually looks pretty good. You can see it looks pretty good. Let's see if I can zoom on, zoom in in some piece somewhere. Let me say this piece here. That's basically what it looks like. Not perfect, like a spray on, but pretty good, pretty good for sure. I like it. It looks awesome. It looks pretty ruggedy. Ruggedy. But this looks a little too ruggedy. This was kind of hard to do because of all these shapes here. I couldn't get the roller all everywhere, but anyways, it's still drying. But anyways, looks good. Pretty happy overall, so I guess for a hundred bucks, can't complain, right? Of course it did take me about four or five about five hours to do this, so 
Well, that's not including the sanding. So yeah, I would say this is at least a six to eight hour project. Including the sanding and prepping, cleaning, whatever. Sanding took a couple hours for sure. Pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps somebody decide if they want to do it themselves or not. But I'm pretty happy with it overall. Here's another angle. Pretty good. And that's how it looks with the truck. Farther away. You can see the contrast. Not bad, not bad. Alright guys, thanks for watching. And see you next time.